Guys, today we're trying Carnage from Inferno Candy Company. Maple and bacon drenched on a kettle chip. I'm going to read the uh, information from the website real quick. <clears throat> Maple and bacon drenched on a kettle chip. That is all. We've added a heaping of red ghost peppers and Carolina Reaper peppers to the process to keep the heat. For when you are watching Brent Eats Heat. <laughs> okay, it doesn't say nothing about Brent Eats Heat, but it should. It should indeed. Why settle for the ordinary when you can have extraordinary? This item is extremely hot, packaged in a resealable and reusable FDA approved storage bag. So, red ghost peppers, Carolina Reapers, on a maple bacon flavored kettle chip. I'm sure it's going to be hot, but does it taste good? We're about to find out. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Brenny Seat with me, Bren Underwood. You've seen it from the title seen it from the intro today we're trying carnage from inferno candy company <clears throat> i've been trying a lot of products here lately from inferno candy company and i'm not going to go on and on about inferno candy company um i just want to say that i like their products that's it that's all i'm going to mention <sighs> one thing i like the most about the Inferno cookies that I did, if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. Um, and, you know, Carnage, they're in resealable bags. Um, I was able to eat a cookie, put it back in the bag, reseal it. I still have a couple left. For whenever I want to pull a prank on one of my friends or eat another one, I just, all I got to do is go back, open it, and then reseal it again. For today's video, I, I plan on trying a couple chips. Um, I love how it's in a resealable bag. That way I don't have to eat the whole bag at once or worry about going back a week from today um, and eating stale chips. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, now, I don't know how hot this is. Um, but as always, I'll give it a scale from one to 10 based on flavor and based on heat, probably put them together and tell you what I give it, uh, on a scale from one to 10. All right. And again, the artwork on their, on their products is pretty cool. The artwork on every one of the cereals that I had was pretty awesome. Super cringe opening. Now, you know, this is maple bacon flavored. Maple bacon flavored. Can't go wrong with bacon. Wow. I, I smell the heat. I smell the peppers, <sighs> but I also smell the flavor. That's one thing about this company that I like, you know, um, so, so you seen me open it. I'm going to reach in and grab one. That way nobody can say I'm cheating. Again, I don't know how hot these is. These are um, all their products are pretty vague on the Scoville heat scale. Um, you know, like the Inferno cookies, it said two to five million Scoville heat units. That's a big leap. 
And there's a big difference between two million and five million, especially when you're the one eating it. It could be not so bad or it could be kind of insane. You know, I mean, two to five million. All right, done talking. I'm going to eat a couple of these chips and tell you what I think of them. Flavor right off the jump. Has a barbecue flavor to it. And here comes that heat. There's that heat, boy, there's that heat. Right away, I got the barbecue, the, the I guess, the maple bacon. Not getting a big hint of the bacon, but, the, you know, the barbecue. I'm assuming that would be the maple. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting a hint of barbecue. Maple would be syrup. Bacon, of course, would be bacon. Um, but it had a real strong barbecue flavor to it. Heat-wise... Maybe a three flavor. So my heat's definitely at a three flavor. You know, I was overwhelmed with that barbecue flavor right off the jump. Uh, I'll say flavor wise, I'll give it. Well, let's just get a second opinion real quick. Mouth is starting to water. Drool. Salivate whatever you want to call it. It's like someone just opened up the floods, the floodgates at Keystone Dam. Now you're eating heat with Brent. Flavor, I'm going to give it a seven. Heat, my heat is at about a three. So flavor and heat, I'm going to give it a solid eight. Okay, guys. Pretty hefty bag. It is a, doesn't say how much the bag weighs. And just like that, we're sealed. I, I understand why they call it carnage now. Complete and total carnage is going on in my mouth right now. All in all, I got to say it's a nice, mild heat. Nice, mild, mellow heat. And this is from someone that is, you know, eats heat on a regular basis. Yeah, nice, smooth, mellow heat. Someone that's not used to eating hot stuff like this, I guarantee it their heat would be at it like a 9 or a 10. So, if you're not used to eating hot stuff, don't just jump right into something like this. This is not for beginners. I'm not saying I'm a professional chili head or anything like that. 
I'm not Johnny Scoville. I'm, I'm not Matt Stoney. I, I'm not some of these other guys, you know. Uh, I'm just someone that likes to challenge myself. And from time to time, I do it by eating hot stuff. And here recently, I've been recording it and uploading it to YouTube. The heat's already starting to die off. Uh, faces uh, sweating. My whole head's starting to kind of warm up. Um, mouth is no longer watering. Nose never once started watering. My eyes may have watered for a little bit, but nothing too serious. Nothing I couldn't handle. So, yeah, all in all, flavor and heat, I give it an 8. My heat level never went over a 3. Guys, as always, thank you for watching another episode of Brent Eats Heat with me, Brent Underwood. I love each and every one of you. And, you know, to, to the new subscribers and to the subscribers that's been here since day one, man, thank you guys. I love each and every one of you. I really do. Until next time.